suffering and hurt of these stolen generations, we say sorry. My name is Marcia Langton. I'm a, an Iman person from Queensland. Uh, I've been at the University of Melbourne for 20 years where I'm the Professor of Australian and Indigenous Studies and also the Associate Provost. I was an Assistant Commissioner with the Australian Human Rights Commission inquiry which resulted in the Bringing Them Home report. I became politicised at a very young age and understood the, um, the urgency of in intelligent and widespread civil rights campaigns. In 2000, I marched across the um, Flinders Street uh, Bridge here in Melbourne. I, I went down to the, uh, the gathering point and thought, oh, this will be, you know, just a handful of us again. And I couldn't believe it. There were tens of thousands of people. You know, reconciliation has been, I think, a very effective way uh, to bring uh, most Australians to an understanding of Australia's past and, and to understand why Indigenous people suffer the disadvantages that they do today. It's not because we're lesser human beings, it's because of the impact of historical policies and utterly horrible abuses of, of Aboriginal people and whole populations for more than 200 years. I don't believe personally that the issues relating to the forced removal of Aboriginal children over many generations have ever been resolved satisfactorily. Now, yes, there was that marvellous apology uh, in the Parliament of Australia by the then Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd. And certainly an apology was necessary. But no government has ever adequately compensated any of the victims of the stolen generations. The very interesting statistic about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women who obtain tertiary qualifications is that they have closed the gap. Well, it's not true in every case, but um, broadly, um, Indigenous women who obtain a tertiary qualification uh, are employed, uh, have a good income, and uh, uh, don't fall into the, you know, the categories of disadvantage that, the, that all of the social indicators uh, show for other Indigenous people. Like many other Indigenous people, what I would like to see is uh, some political will to deliver on the Uluru Statement from the Heart, uh, for Indigenous people to be not just recognised in the Constitution, but to have a voice. And I would also like to see the disadvantages overcome, especially in health, education, employment and housing. And I would like to see an end to racism. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.